What is up YouTube? So today we're going to be doing a very exciting unboxing uh, of the new 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now previously I did have a 2017 15 inch MacBook Pro but then I ended up selling it just due to my lack of confidence in the keyboard and uh, some other things with it and so I ended up going back to my late 2013 which I've had since 2014 uh, give or take. So I uh, basically just went back to this machine, upgraded the logic board so I could have 16 gigs of RAM, and I've been using it ever since. That was about six, seven months ago at this point, um, and I have just been patiently waiting ever since for Apple to uh, make a machine that, you know, is worth me paying for again, and it seems like they have finally done it. This is going to be an unboxing of the new 16-inch MacBook Pro, but not just any 16-inch MacBook Pro. This is a good one. <laughs> so... Um, this is the highest configuration you can purchase at the Apple Store. Now they don't list this model on the website. You only have the, you know, the base i7 model and then the base i9 model. Both come with 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, the base i7 has a 512 gig SSD. The uh, base i9 has a one terabyte, and then of course the 5300 and 5500 M graphics cards. But if I was going to purchase this machine, I was not going to sell for 16 gigs of RAM because that's what my 2013 has and I'm planning on using this for a very long time so uh, I went ahead and got the highest configuration you can purchase in the Apple Store which includes the 2.4 gigahertz Intel Core i9 sorry about the crappy lighting but it is what it is uh, we have 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a 2 terabyte PCIe based SSD, which is really nice. Uh, it's a little more than I needed, but obviously I didn't have a choice since it's, you know, a pre-configured model. Uh, we have the 8 gigabyte Radeon Pro 5500M graphics card, so that should be pretty nuts. And of course, you know, the rest is uh, typical 16-inch MacBook Pro. You get the new keyboard, you get the new display, the larger battery, the better speakers and whatnot. Of course, the internet is going nuts about this laptop at the moment, so I'm not gonna bore you with everything that's new about it, but those are the main things. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So, we have this, wow, that didn't work too well. Anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up this plastic real quick. I'm not gonna worry about salvaging the plastic, because it's just plastic. Nice new box design. Actually, I actually wish that was a wallpaper in Mac OS. That'd be cool. But uh, let's go ahead and remove the cover. So there we are, boys. There is our 16 inch MacBook Pro. Go ahead and remove that right quick. We will file this to the side. Of course, now the, the size wise, this is almost identical to the Retina display models, the ones before the 2016s. When they came out with the 2016 models, they actually shrunk the machine a little bit, but this is, I believe, within one millimeter uh, dimension-wise versus the like 2013 to 15 Retina display MacBooks, so that's kind of cool. It is a little bit heavier. That's 4.3 pounds instead of 4, like it used to be, but obviously I don't really care much about that at all. So there you go. Let's go ahead and file that to the side for the moment and take a look at what else we get. Of course, you know, typical Apple fashion, we get the uh, quick start guide, the books and stuff, not a, not super exciting. Ooh, and we actually get space gray Apple stickers this time, which is actually pretty cool. I believe I did not get those with my 2017, so this must be new for the 16 inch, but those are sweet, so that's nice. Anyway, filing that to the side, we get our new 96 watt power adapter, which is up from the 85 watt brick we used to get, so that's pretty cool. That's of course to power the uh, more powerful hardware in this machine, and uh, yeah, so there's that. I'm gonna need that because my current Thunderbolt 3 dock does not uh, support that, so I'm gonna have to have that as well. So anyhow, let's go ahead and get this stuff to the side. And I'll go ahead and boot the machine up for you guys. Of course, not before removing the plastic. So let's go ahead and do that next. There we go. Flip her over. Pull this magical sheet off. There we are. So, yeah, I can definitely notice a difference versus the outgoing 15 inch model, but since I have been coming from a Retina Display MacBook, this feels exactly the same dimension-wise. But of course, we still have just our regular Thunderbolt 3 ports uh, and a headphone jack, of course. 
we do not have an SD card slot. That is the only thing that I think that they missed the mark on with this machine. Otherwise, they did. They pretty much fixed everything that was bad about the previous model. I just wish there was an SD card slot, but oh well. Let's go ahead and open it up. So there we are. You pull off the plastic on the screen. And there you go, of course, these new MacBooks uh, boot up on their own, so that is something to keep in mind. But, I'm going to scoot it back a little so I don't have that cut off there. But yeah, guys, there it is. Of course, again, to me it doesn't feel bigger, and to you it probably won't either, even if you do have one of the outgoing 15-inch models. I think that uh, the size difference is so, like, minimal that it won't matter for you. But, yeah, like I said, new scissor switch keyboard. Well, new, and, and by that I mean old. The main language. Okay. Press the return key. Yes, let's do that. Thank you. Um, yeah, so they went back to the inverted T layout, which is nice. We have a separate power button from the touch bar. Of course, it, it kind of was before, but it's now, like, literally separated. And a physical escape key, which uh, programmers are going to be very happy about. But, yeah, other than that, I'm just going to go ahead and go and set it up. Uh, that is pretty much all I have for you for the unboxing. Of course, I will have more videos on this machine as I continue to use it and whatnot, but there you are. See you guys later.